Ever feel like your to-do list is all over the place? With Google Tasks, you can keep everything in one spot, right alongside your Gmail and calendar. It's simple, efficient, and designed to fit flawlessly into your daily routine, which makes it easy to manage both big projects and quick reminders. If you're already using Google's tools, integrating tasks can bring all your plans together, which helps you stay organized without the extra hassle. Today, we're getting into a complete step-by-step -step guide on using Google Tasks, so let's get started. There are a few ways you can access Google Tasks. If you're on a computer, it's integrated directly into Gmail and Google Calendar, so you'll find it on the right side of the screen in these apps. Just look for the small blue checkmark icon, click on it, and there you go. Google Tasks opens up as a sidebar. If you're a person who's always on Gmail or uses Google Calendar to keep track of meetings and events, this sidebar access makes it super convenient to create tasks right alongside your emails or calendar events. Another option is through the mobile app, which you can download on Android or iOS. The app is straightforward and gives you full control over your tasks wherever you are. Plus, it syncs with your desktop version. If you add or edit a task on your phone, you'll see it on your computer too. Once you're set up, let's get into creating tasks. When you open Google Tasks, you'll see an option to create a new task. Think of each task as a small goal or reminder. For instance, maybe you have a client meeting coming up. Instead of simply marking the meeting time in your calendar, you could create a Google task with details about the meeting, like what topics you'll cover or questions you want to ask. Adding these details within the task helps keep everything you need in one place so you don't have to look for those details last minute. To add a task, just type the task name, and if you want to add any notes or details, there's an option for that too. For example, say you have a task called Project Proposal. In the details, you could write down ideas or pointers to remember for the proposal. This way, whenever you open the task, you'll have all the information at your fingertips. One of the things that makes Google Tasks more than just a checklist is its ability to schedule tasks with dates and times. When you create a task, there's an option to add a due date. Let's say you have a personal task to submit a tax form and the deadline is coming up next Monday. Just set the due date for Monday and Google Tasks will show it in your calendar, helping you keep track without any extra steps. You can also set specific times for tasks. This is super helpful for things that need to be done at a certain time, like pick up groceries at 4 p.m. It's a small addition, but really helps keep your schedule organized, especially if you're managing multiple tasks in a day. Once you've added a date and time, the task will appear in Google Calendar as well, so you'll get that extra reminder without having to add it separately to the calendar. One feature people often overlook is the ability to create multiple lists. This can be great if you have a lot going on and need to keep things organized. For example, you might create one list for work tasks and another for personal stuff. Or maybe you want separate lists for different projects you're handling. This helps keep things organized and allows you to focus on one set of tasks at a time. Creating a new list is simple. Just click on My Tasks and select Create a New List. You can name it whatever you want, like Personal Errands or Work Projects. Once you have lists set up, switching between them is easy. You can even assign tasks to different lists as you create them, which makes it even easier to stay organized. For instance, if you're working on a client video project, you could create a list just for that, adding tasks like Draft Script or Edit First Cut. Sometimes, a task can feel overwhelming if it's big, like launch marketing campaign. This is where subtasks come in handy. You can break down your main task into smaller, manageable parts. In the launch marketing campaign example, subtasks could be things like create content calendar, design graphics, and schedule social media posts. This lets you focus on each step without getting overwhelmed by the entire project. To add a subtask, click on the main task and select add subtask. You can add as many as you need, and if some of the subtasks need to be done by a certain date, you can set separate due dates for them as well. This makes it easy to stay on track and see exactly where you are in your project.
One of the standout features of Google Tasks is how it integrates with Google Calendar. If you're a Google Calendar user, this integration can really streamline your workflow. Every task you add with a due date will automatically appear in your calendar. This is especially useful for those of us who rely on our calendars to structure our day. Now, you don't have to open different apps to see your schedule and tasks. Everything is in one place. Imagine you're preparing for a big client presentation next Friday. You can set up the tasks in Google Tasks, link them with due dates, and they'll pop up in your calendar, giving you a visual timeline of what needs to be done. This way, you're constantly reminded of the approaching deadline without manually adding each reminder to your calendar. Another cool feature is how you can link tasks directly to Gmail. Say you get an email with action items like a client requesting edits to a video project. Instead of just flagging the email or leaving it unread, you can turn it into a task. Open the email, click on Add to Tasks, and it'll create a task with a link to the email. This is a lifesaver because with one click, you can go directly from your task list to the original email, which is super helpful if you need to reference the details while completing the task. Plus, you can add more details to the task, like due dates or subtasks, which makes it even easier to stay organized. This feature is especially useful if you're dealing with a high volume of emails and need a better way to manage follow-ups and deadlines. Now let's talk about prioritizing tasks. Google Tasks lets you rearrange tasks by simply dragging them around. This might sound basic, but it's incredibly helpful when you have a long list and need to focus on the most urgent ones first. For example, say you've got a mix of work tasks and personal errands in one list. Just drag the more pressing tasks, like finish client report, to the top. This small change helps you visualize what needs immediate attention and keeps you on track. There's something satisfying about marking a task as done, and Google Tasks makes this easy. When you finish a task, just click the circle next to it, and it moves to the completed section. You can still view these completed tasks if you want, but they won't clutter your main list. This is helpful for tracking your progress, especially for ongoing projects. Let's say you're working on a big project with multiple tasks. At the end of each day, you can look back at your completed tasks to see what you accomplished and feel good about the progress you're making. Now, if you're on the go a lot, you'll love the mobile version of Google Tasks. It syncs with the desktop version, so any changes you make on your phone are instantly updated on your computer too. This is perfect for those times when you remember something important while you're out and about. You can open the app, add the task, and it'll be there when you get back to your computer. The mobile app has all the main features, like adding due dates, creating lists, and even adding subtasks. Say you're at the grocery store and you remember you need to add a task for a work deadline. Just open the app, add it to the relevant list, and you're good to go. Now that you've got the hang of Google Tasks, let's talk about staying consistent. One of the biggest challenges with any task management tool is remembering to use it regularly. It's all too easy to set up a list and then forget to check back on it. One helpful habit is to set aside a few minutes each morning to review your tasks. Think of it as a quick planning session where you add any new tasks, rearrange priorities, and check off completed ones. This helps keep your day focused and prevents tasks from piling up. Another great tip is to use Google Tasks for both personal and work-related items, so everything you need is in one place and feel more organized. Google Tasks is simple, but it's a great tool when used right, especially if you're already in the Google ecosystem. It's easy to overlook, but once you get the hang of it, it can make a big difference in how you manage your day. So give it a try, add a few tasks, set some due dates, and see how it fits into your workflow. And that's it for our guide on Google Tasks for beginners. Thanks for watching.